all right uh welcome to the noko locos cold brew uh showcase which is where makers uh like you and me and also tool makers who make no code products for no code makers like me and many other people who will be showcased in this show will come and share their work this is to inspire you and get started with no code and design aspects um noko loco is a proud a uh, supporter of design and no code so if you know somebody who's really good with design and no code send them our way and we'd love to feature them so to, for today's episode of live stream and we are in part number 10 so which is exciting we have felix who is a no code maker from adhya asia so i would love to pull him up and ask him to share his recent work that he had done using no code tools it's a viral no code tool i know that and that's the reason why i was like please come and share on my channel so let me pull him up hey felix hi thank you so much for making the time and welcome hey hey loco noco community this is felix uh, super excited to be here awesome yeah so i wanted people to see your recent launch which you moved very huge database from notion to card so i want people to know how you did that and why you did that and decisions on that yeah definitely let me share my screen awesome great uh so this is uh, fresher mojito um if you have been following me my following my my no code journey i've been with this space for um Two years, I think, and uh, since then I've been working on uh, four projects, and all of them completely built without Coke. And right now, you're um, seeing uh, Fresher Mojito, one of the the projects that I uh, spend most of my time. Unfortunately, uh, recently my previous uh, site providers uh, went down, so I was really panicked last week, and uh, eventually I made a decision to. Completely will build uh, my whole websites and all the uh, automations behind completely on another tool that I uh, really uh, have a lot of confidence with. And uh, but before I I go deeper into uh, these uh, projects, maybe tell you a little bit more uh, why I do this project. So, um, virtual marketing has been up for a year and a half, and the reason I've been doing this project is because back then I got a lot of questions and. Uh, inquiries from people, uh, particularly community builders, uh, companies who want to go for remote, and they all have a similar uh, problems into looking for the right tools or resources apart from Zoom or or Google Meet. Uh, those two uh, big giants where we come across from time to time, and people always looking for an alternatives or some other uh, solutions because they cannot find. Uh, and unique features or functionalities that customize for their communities, their work, their team. They look always looking for something more unique uh, in order to fulfill their need. So, um, in the very beginning, I've been uh, curating resources to help people identify the right tools to uh, put up their virtual events, communities, and remote. As I mentioned earlier, and uh, my original idea was just put up a simple article just to feature maybe twenty. Tools. Eventually, I got sixty, and I'm like, I cannot put up an article with sixty tools. It's really stupid. So, um, eventually, I decided to put up a simple website with uh, curated information to help people navigate, search, and filter the right solutions for their need. And that's how Virtual Mojito emerged.、Uh, originally started as a Notion website with dynamic da- database where we can search and filter. And、uh, been running for a year, making small profits. And、um, last week, I decided to rebuild my site. And now,、uh, Virtual Mojito is hosted on Cart. I think this is one of the most、um, exciting.、Uh, a lot of users, according to to the founder. Card currently has over two million、uh, active users, so I'm one of them, and、uh, really excited. So, a、uh, quick overview of this site. So, basically, on virtualmojito.com, you can see over two、uh, hundred tools to help you uh, uh, build your、uh, virtual experience, including events, online communities, as well as your remote team. Uh, right here, you can search and filter、uh, your designated solutions.、Uh, so I have been separating all these、uh, tools by different categories, not just virtual events, but also for other purposes, such as online class, people looking for online mentorships, networking, 
or even virtual games. That's most uh, virtual uh, or distributed companies looking for to stay in touch, to to build momentum and all that. And um, in a year right now, there's over 200 solutions and you can quickly find all these tools easily. Um, some I expect some of you might be familiar with the look and view and you're right. I'm also embedding another no code solutions called Pori where you can um, convert your data on Airtable seamlessly on any basically uh, any uh, front end facing uh, um, database or, or uh, job boards or even you can use Pori to build uh, product hunt clone or even community sites, marketplace, et cetera. And I found Pori really easy to, to use and implement. So that's why I decided to uh, make use of the search and filter solutions and display my uh, results just like this. Apart from that, uh, since the beginning of running uh, virtual mojito, because virtual mojito is all about any kind of virtual experience and most of my audience they always uh, looking for the the right um, events to fill up their free time or people want to join online workshops virtual events so that's why i've been creating um uh, virtual events as well to help people select and filter something that they really want to participate and you're right i have uh, just directly embed my ad table on, on card and and it works so i don't need um uh, some two uh, sophisticated functionality for them. So as long as it works, build without code, doesn't cost me too much time and budget, and that's fine for me. Then, uh, other than other than curating uh, tools and resources as well as event calendar, I also contribute content on a regular basis. So I used to uh, write newsletters every two weeks, and recently I decided to change from two weeks to uh, every month. And again, I use another no code solution called Substack, where I can distribute my newsletters, publish as a blog alike site, and I also embed the whole Substack right here on my card site. So this is how my Substack newsletter looks like, completely without code, without cost as well. I'm not paying any budget on all these embeddables, but on Virtual Mojito Live, that's how I call my newsletter. You can basically um understand the insider information about how people organize events how all these peop, uh, makers curate um, solutions to help people navigate the, the online um, ecosystem or events uh, resources news tips to make the uh, virtual events uh, even better so um, do not hesitate to follow and i'm happy to receive some feedback as well and that's how virtualmojito.com looks like. And I think the last uh, tool stack I have been using is uh, Buy Me A Coffee. So um, this is one of my source of monetizations. People pay for donations. Apart from that, I also monetize my uh, website as well as newsletter. So every month I'm generating around 300 to 150 uh, US dollars on this site by just creating information. So. That's it for virtual mojito. Happy to hear any questions. Awesome. I mean, that's very holistic. We understood your stack. We understood how you, over time, you know, curated and gone towards card and pori. We've understood even, you know, how you're monetizing it. So that's a holistic case study. One thing I do want to understand is um, at what point did you decide uh, to monetize it? It seems to be a very common mm. question, but I would yeah. love to know your thoughts. Sure. So I actually been uh, making my journey really transparent on either Twitter or in the hackers since the beginning. So I started virtual mojito in April, no, actually May. I launched in late May last year and been running uh, for a year until I moved to Cart. So I started monetizing, uh, if I remember cor correctly, it should be around July or August. So the fourth or fifth episode of my newsletter. So I started monetize by uh, three ways. First of all, um, when I reach uh, 200 subscribers on my newsletters. And you might debate, yes, uh, it works. Uh, people will pay for a newsletter with only 200 subscribers. As long as your um, audience is narrow enough, targeted, uh, they are the people where the advertisers are looking for. Um, your size of audience doesn't really matter. 
So uh, secondly, I also monetize uh, some spotlight uh, space, for example, the hero session, for example, something around as long as like Apple, the four people want to make their product visible. And why I can uh, monetize my uh, newsletters and my site all together is because every month I'm getting uh, 4,500 unit visitors. So I think this is a good validation for me to, to monetize my traffic. And uh, if I remember correctly from my advertisers, I think if they advertise for, for a month, they will get maybe roughly 10% of kick through from, from my traffic uh, uh, on average. That's awesome, right? Um, so just by logically deconstructing your uh, people that were coming into the whole thing, you've been able to come uh, to that. Do you also sp sell ad spots or uh, newsletter job spots or something like that? So uh, I think primarily will be the, the newsletter, newsletter spot. So uh, on my Substack newsletter, I have a section called Meet and Mojito. So Mojito means the founder of all these virtual event solutions. For, for example, I also interview uh, the founder of Hey Summit, one of the uh, biggest uh, virtual event solution as well. So basically every episode, I will feature the story. Uh, why they build this product, uh, what makes this product special, they grow, and uh, what are something where uh, people within this virtual ecosystem want to know. So it's all about stories. And they pay for this uh, space because, of, first of all, click through. Secondly, um, uh, I've been demonstrating successful uh, conversions for, for people who have been showcasing on my newsletter. So I think that's the major reason. Nice, that's wonderful. That's super clear. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, however, I have one final question for you. Yes. Um, where do you see the future of no code for you? Um, wherever you're staying, right? I would love to hear, uh, has it picked up? Has it, you know, kind of gaining momentum? What's happening there? Uh, first of all, I want to say, say a big thank you to the no code community. I think the no code community definitely uh, make makes me eyes opening a lot than before. Yeah. And with no code tools, I'm seeing more and more opportunities from people around me, even though outside of the startup bubbles, more and more people are taking their leaves to, to build their own business or, or side projects. For me, it's totally a side project because I still have a, a nine to five jobs and I'm running all these side projects when I am free, uh, wake up in the morning or stay up late like many people. And I think um, we, if you're talking about the comparisons between now versus the future, I think we are now in the future where no code tools definitely unlock a lot of possibilities already. Yeah. Um, what I envision is I would like to see more and more people outside of our industries to participate, to join force, and just make use of all these uh, great solutions uh, mm -hmm. without code. And with in the past when we we want to build a software website, we have to maybe look for developers or maybe outsourcers getting an agency. Now, with no code tools, all these great solutions like car, webflow, blah, blah, there's basically no excuse that the only the only thing to, to stop you from doing is time and, and how you motivate yourself. So I think if the technical issues are already solved, uh, there's not much uh, obstacles. So uh, really give a try and um, join a community. I think uh, more and more communities emerge from different regions and uh, we, we are in a good position to heading into a, a nice era, so yeah. Yeah, awesome, yeah. That's a wholesome answer. Super, thank you so much for no coming problem. in and sharing. And I've had an absolute pleasure for hosting you. We should chat soon about your Figma illustrations, right? Yes, absolutely, happy to awesome. do so. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you. Bye. All right. Um, so that was Felix. He is having a lot more products than actually he showed. So you should go check out his Twitter, which is down there. You can just check it out and follow uh, him and give him a shout out that you actually follow, saw his work here. And please ask him about his Figma illustrations. He has a huge library created out. Check it out and you'll be able to create your own avatars in it soon. Next up is Nagesh. Nagesh is a no-code tool maker who is actually helping no-coders to write more newsletters. And that too, in our world famous favorite tool, Notion. So let me pull up Nagesh and let him introduce 
the best of no code letters dot com. Hi Nagesh. Hey Madhuri. Hey Bye. hey guys. Thank you so much yes. for coming on to the channel. I'm super excited to see No Code Letters, and ever since we got introduced, I've been like, okay, when I'm going to do this. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I'm super excited to showcase No Code Letters as well. Awesome. Right. So, um, how did it start, and where did this idea come from? <laughs> all right. So, uh, you know, it all started when we were actually working on a marketing tool. uh and we just had this option of opinion of you know making it easy for everyone to send their newsletters right and that is why we started with something called mid but during that time notion launched their apis and you know the geeks that me and my friend are we thought hey we should do something with it we are already doing something with email let's try it out let's start building it and then you know we it was just a basic idea proof of concept and it evolved into no code letters today Right, that that seems super awesome and intriguing. So, walk us through what happens when we start with no code letters. Sure, let me just share my screen. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think you can see my screen, right? Now, yes. yes. All right. So, uh, you know, as soon as you sign up or sign in uh, on no code letters, this is where you land, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very simple. What you go is you go ahead in your settings and it tells you to integrate with Notion. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my Notion with No Code Letters. Right, that's step one. So you can see I can select the pages that I want to share with. So I don't want to share everything. I'm just going to share whatever is there, not everything, whatever I want, and that's it. Right, I've integrated my Notion. And second step, let's go ahead add a newsletter. Let's call this. Uh, yes. So, if you don't have a template right now, you can duplicate our template. And when you duplicate our template, you can see that there is. It's very simple, and we have already some inbuilt uh, newsletters for you to get started with. So, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this template in my workspace. Right, and I'm going to call this new newsletter template. So, if you go here, there are two sections. One is newsletter, and one is pages. it comes with a guide of how you can work around with this but let's go inside newsletters and you see there are some of these pre-filled templates that you can get started with and there is also welcome email and i'm going to come to that later on right so now let's just go ahead once you have duplicated this you just need to go and do two steps one is share to the web and the second one is share it with no code letters right as soon as you do this you can copy it go ahead paste this and let's call this a uh, no co loco demo right and my newsletter is ready now what do you uh, once this newsletter is ready what do you see here is that all the templates that we sh i showed you here in this newsletter which are marked as publish that is that means they are ready to be published are visible here you can quickly preview them let's let's see uh a simple one say show some love to your followers we see this and it is how you uh, you know you will see your newsletter how your end user will see the newsletter and this is how it looks in notion so it's pretty straightforward that whatever you see in notion is what you get here right and as soon as i send this newsletter it will tell you that hey you are sending this email from hello at no code let us right now let's just go continue with this for the time being and once you send these newsletters you'll be able to see that hey you have sent this newsletter and we have some inbuilt analytics right for you right here right so as soon as these are delivered let's go let's check it out hey this was this must have delivered been delivered to me so you can check this right now and voila this is your wow. newsletter right and if you come back here if you want to see your dashboard you will see that hey two were delivered one is open so you have all this analytics as well but you have just sent your newsletter which looks similar to what it would look in notion and we have this default unsubscribe as well which works for any newsletter right and the thing is as soon as this is sent it is automatically marked as sent here so your newsletter is now sent right so you know that your newsletter is sent here the second thing uh, that i quickly want to show is that obviously what's a newsletter uh, without 
growing your audience or without having a landing page of your own, right? So it's just gonna, let's say, uh, create a public page for this newsletter, right? So you have this ability to customize it completely. Let's call this no code, no code, demo newsletter. And this is a page. And let's call this uh, for the time being. And let's add this. And okay, this is a news. So I'm going to save this. I can customize. You can see all of these fields are created. And you can customize the theme. I'm just going to do something here. You can customize everything, themes and fonts, and everything that you want to do with the uh, landing page, right? And as soon as you go to details page, you get a URL which you can share with everyone now. Nice, that's super cool, super cool. Right? Yeah. So now, but if you go here, you won't see anything uh, here just yet. So what happens is that we have this field that, you know, only sent newsletters are previewable. So as soon as you mark them as sent and previewed, what happens is if you refresh this page, All of these things come, you can share them on Twitter. You can obviously have likes and all those things which are essential for your uh, newsletter and you can grow your mailing list just like this. So you will be able to see that whatever, however it looks here, how to use no code letters, oh, sorry, why we built no code letters. So however it looks here on your Notion page, that is how it looks exactly on your landing page as well, right? So this is your landing page now and all of these things are possible. So you, people can subscribe. So as soon as they subscribe, let's just show you what happens. Uh, you can actually even do custom welcome emails. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable the welcome email for you. So as soon as now you have, and even this is based out of Notion, right? So you have this page here. This is your welcome email. So you can customize this, send your whatever content you want to to your subscribers. So as soon as someone subscribes, they will receive this email. So let's try it out. So I'm just going to subscribe to this. So you have subs successfully subscribed. And you would get a welcome email here. Right. Uh, so yeah. Sometimes things are slow. <laughs> yes. So essentially, what you should expect here is you would be getting a uh, you would be getting an email here which says that, hey, welcome to your newsletter. Right. So awesome. th this is primarily about how you can correlate your notion with no code letters. Right. And it's that simple. This is like super awesome for a simple reason that you are making my life super lazy also. Right. <laughs> I don't have to go sign up for a convert kit, play with the uh, HTML, uh, you know, editor and try to get that whole email template out. It's a pain. I know the pain. Mm -hmm. And it just, it just made my life super lazy. <laughs> right. That's the whole idea. That was the, essentially, that was the whole uh, idea behind all of this, right? So the whole idea was um, that, hey, people are already using Notion to type their ideas. People are already using Notion to, you know, uh, write down their thoughts and everything. Why not send it directly from Notion, right? So that is what we wanted to start with. That is what actually gave up the, uh, you know, birth to the idea where, hey, we're just writing everything in Notion. And it's really painful when you want to, you know, move all of these things uh, back to some another ma email marketing tool. And then you have to manage everything. And it becomes really, really difficult. Right here, we just wanted you to give everything that you want to do and make it super easy to do it right from Notion. Nice. This is super amazing. I'm super happy to see this workflow coming. And Notion-based products are on the rise, right? Right. Uh, so how did you like feel that, OK, is there more people doing something similar? What's happening here? So as far as I know, with newsletters, no one is doing it. And then uh, uh, we saw a, quite a few people doing it with blog. I'm sure you know about MDX1. And then you, there is uh, there's uh, a lot of different people who are actually trying to do it with uh, blogs and everything with but with newsletter there was no one who was actually doing it when we started um so i think uh, in that sense yes we were the first one kind of first one to do it from notion uh and uh like newsletter because you know we just thought that you know hey newsletter is something that people are actually doing it again people are, love newsletters nowadays and it's it's just best to do it that way 
was the traction so far? How was the response from your customers? Right. So uh, we have not launched a paid plan yet. We like we the paid plan is coming soon, but mostly we are doing the free plan right now, and we have seen quite a uh, bit of early adoption. Uh, the interesting thing is that you know when we started doing this, we had a few developers, including Noggin, reach out to us and say that hey. Uh, you've already built email from Notion. Let's integrate. So Notion, Noggin is kind of the first customer, the B2B customer that reached out to us. And now uh, Noggin is powered by no code letters, actually, in terms of sending email, right? We have a few people who are working on tools on Notion. But then in terms of email functionality, they want to use no code letters. So we have already, like, you know, I'm excited to say that we have already launched our APIs where people can, like, you know, easily, easily, like, you know, just integrate. Just They just need to share their notion id with us the notion page id with us and we send it over an email so we've just made it that simple for anyone to start sending their emails directly from notion so we have just uh, released our apis as well i mean you're just making it a wholesome product now <laughs> right. time, just get super lazy just use mdn.one and this and we are done <laughs> right 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 so that's that's why i'm like you know very excited because uh, we started with the newsletter concept but now we are just Hey, if you want to send any email from Notion, we we are the tool to use for it. Awesome. Yeah, this is super exciting. I'm excited to see how No Code Letters grows and also how, uh, you know, you are taking it down this ride. I hope uh, you have a wider reach with the Notion community very soon. <laughs> and you know, get started from there. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Madhuri. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, this actually brings us to the end of the stream. And thank you again, Nagesh, for joining today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Madhuri. Thank you so much. Awesome. Bye-bye. All right. So that was Nagesh sharing uh, nocodeletters.com. Check that out whenever you are serious about launching a notion to uh, you know newsletter. If you're like me, super lazy, and you want to get started, please use it. It's it's something I think many people will benefit without the actual technical setup and makes it easy, makes life easy. So that being said, that's the end of our live stream this week. Um, before you go, one final thing. Uh, Noko Loco and Expedian are recently kicked off a design cohort for makers, for no coders, for designers, for anybody who's very serious about launching out uh, their careers or very deep in their understanding of product design. Um, so let me quickly share the website with you. Um, it's it's on experian.xyz slash dpdi. So I'll share my screen. All right, so let's just see. All right, so you can actually see. Yeah, so this is um, this is the DPDI website. I hope you can see this. Yeah, yeah, and this is where we are pulling it out. It's a cohort. We've been running it for three plus years, and all our work that has been happening for the past uh, nine plus years and other co-instructors like Karthi and Arjun who are also beginning into design for 10 and Karthi around 20 years putting all the experience down and you know getting started so uh, the cohort is now open for applications you can apply now and there the link is also available to apply right there if you want to get up updates or exclusive you know content for developing your product design you know skills sign up with us and we will for sure keep you posted see you soon and thank you so much for taking the time to join this live stream see ya